jobs. Thank you. Thank you so much. Griffin Stangle, is that how you pronounce your last name? That is correct. Stangle the Angel? Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations on your promotion. Oh, thank you very much. All right, so Cam's putting the ladder up right now. Okay. He's going to run out in front of the jet, give me the signal to start it up. And when he does that, the canopy's going to be coming down, so watch your hands. Okay. Thank you so much. It's such an honor. We're going to have some fun. And here we go. So excited. As we get the jet started up here, okay. you're going to feel some bumps and shimmies as the engines pull up. That's totally normal. All right. Don't worry about. I got my dad's picture in my pocket. Awesome. And, uh, I've been to talk to you about that. He is a Pearl Harbor survivor, correct? He was a civilian survivor. He was, uh, 18, walking home from church, and his neighborhood was bombed, so they built a bomb shelter that whole day. His neighbor's house was on fire. That's and that's what, um, prompted him to enlist in the Army. Wow. We had the opportunity to fly over the USS Arizona when we were on our Hawaii oh. trip uh, a couple months ago. That was uh, pretty special. It's amazing that the oil still... Roll left! Roll left! Flight control. Flight control. Flight control. Still weeps. Flight control. Yep. Sorry, I had to, like, <laughs> finish my thought. <laughs> oh, it's all good. All right, we're going to test our flight controls now. Okay. Feel the jet move around just yeah. a little bit. We're going to do that one more time. How many hours have you flown? Uh, I have over 1,300 flight hours at the uh, Super Hornet. Wow. Thank you for your service. Hey, happy to do it. You... All right, you ready to go? I'm ready. All right, here we go. Ground blue, and seven taxi with X-ray. We just haven't popped down on my two fours. I see a Sierra, uh, Sierra pop. Sierra pop, uh, for two four, four seven. You been to San Diego before? Yeah, a lot. I was uh, stationed up in Labor. Oh, wow. Yeah, for seven years. Were you here in 2019 when the Blue Angels flew last? Actually, I was not, no. We're so excited as a community to have the show back. Yeah, it's going to be a good one. An experimental one might go off. You can be approaching Texas with Ego Momentary. They might be hold on Texas with Ego. If you would, yes. go ahead and arm that seat up. Okay. Let me know when you've done so. And Blue Angel is having a lockdown in your orbit. Okay, Blue Angel is having a taken. And Blue Angel is having a doing another unrestricted climb right now. And Blue Angel is having a bite. I don't know why I can't. Um, Blue Angel is having a bite. Pull it up. So if uh, you just want it, uh, basically that pull it towards you. Got it. Yep. Armed. Awesome, thank you. It's like one job I have to do and can't figure it out. Hey, it's all good. <laughs> Never done it before. I'm actually really relaxed, surprisingly. Oh, that's good. This is gorgeous. Yeah, we got a real nice day. We're going to head out over the water. Awesome. Do our uh, flying over there. Then we'll be back before we know it.
Is it gonna uh, mess you up if I say something real quick for the camera? No, you should be good. Okay. All right, we're on the runway. Join us tonight at 11 to see if I uh, pass out. Have to use a, a mark bag. <laughs> Let's hope not. I don't even know yet. So join us tonight. Back to you. Can you see your last point of departure, please? Gotcha, thank you. I have Lieutenant Commander Griffin oh, Stengel flying this right plane, land, and I am so relaxed, not anxious at all, super excited. Seven, Foss Tower, hold short of two for right landing traffic. Hold short two for right, Blue Angel Seven. Give your guest riders a, a call sign. Two Angel 7, continue holding short. A uh, question for you. I, I can't get you there. He's unrestricted climb at this time, but we can in about four minutes. What would you like to do? Okay, Blue Angel 7, I'll take the uh, take off as soon as possible without the unrestricted. Roger, Blue Angel 7, runway 24 right, line up and wait. Line up and wait, 24 right. Blue Angel 7. Don't give my riders call signs, but uh, <laughs> you know, if we think of something creative, uh, maybe we'll have one today. Wow. Four Romeo Hotel, exit right on the next tack to eight, contact ground 128.625, 2862. Again, the unrestricted climb is not approved. Runway 24 right, clip and takeoff, change to departure, wind is calm. Clip and takeoff 24 right, and we'll follow the small departure. Thank you for your help. Switch to departure, Steve. Yep. Yeah. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, between restricted and unrestricted. 
Yeah, that's quite the view. Wow. So we're going to get a little bit farther over the water here. Okay. And then uh, we'll do a little G warm-up to see how our bodies are feeling. All right. And, uh, yeah, we'll have some fun. Thank you. Blue Angel 7, I tell you, time to wish you 291, report canceling IFR. Yeah, Blue Angel 7, cancel IFR at this time. Yes, we just had a question, what is that? And 
lower antenna. We have two antennas on the aircraft for our, our transponder, upper and lower. Just positioning on the aircraft. Lower tends to work better for ground receiving stations. Thank you, Angel 7. Roger, thank you. All right. All right. We're just going to come easy left for about two Gs, okay? You're going to feel right. a little heavy. Nothing to worry about. Just kind of sit back. There's 1.5 Gs. And there's two Gs right there, okay? Ah. Don't really need to G straight. We're rolling out. We're back at 1 G. All right, we're going to come to the right for three Gs now. All right. Now with this. Little squeeze with the legs. We're coming right for three G's. There's two. There's two and a half. And there's three G's right there. Squeeze the legs a little bit. Work on that breathing. There you go. And we're rolling out. All right, we're going to bump it up to four G's now, okay? Okay. So we're going to go four G's to the left, all right? Right. Ready, hit it. There's three, there's four right there. Stayed four Gs, squeeze the legs. And we're rolling out. All right, how you feeling? I feel good. All right, we're gonna head downhill, get a little lower, and we're gonna do some loops and rolls, okay? <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. Squeeze. Thing we're going to do is we're going to do a nice easy roll, all right? This will be about two Gs. Do I need to breathe, buddy? You'll, uh, you'll probably just feel a little heavy in the seat. Okay. We're just going to get up to about 20 degrees nose high. And we're going to roll to the left. But as we do this, just imagine you have five other aircraft flying formation off our wingtips right now. That's wow. what the delta roll is wow. that you'll see during the air show. How close do they get? How close do they get? It'll be about, oh, 18 inches is the closest we get. thing I want to show you is we're going to do a loop, okay? We're just going to go up over the top. This will be about two to three Gs. As we pass through vertical right here, I want you to look straight up, find our smoke trail where we just came from. You see it? Wow, that is so cool. We did a full loop. We're going to try to go right back through that smoke trail. Got a little full. That is beautiful. Next thing I'm going to show you is a half Cuban 8, okay? A half human NATO? A half Cuban 8. Oh, human 8. Yeah. <laughs> so, now you're saying tornado with a human. No, it's all good. The, uh, so it's just the first half of the loop, and when we get upside down, pointing the other direction, we're going to roll upright. This is what the four diamond pilots do on takeoff. Wow. Let's be about two to three Gs again. And up we go. <laughs> You see our smoke trails? Weightless. I want to do a nice easy roll oh. to the left. All right, how you feeling? I feel good. All right. Thanks for going easy on me. No, it's all good. <laughs> Just starting to get warmed up. Next thing I want to show you is we're going to do some zero G flying, all right? Okay. 
No, it's exactly what it sounds like. We're just going to float in our seat, okay? Wow. We're going to pitch up to about 45 degrees nose high, and then we'll just be weightless in the seat. Is the plane floating too? A little bit, yeah. All right, there's 45, and we're pushing over. Here we go. Oh, wow. <laughs> totally weightless right now. Oh. Just a little bit, okay? Okay, not too crazy yet. <laughs> Next thing we're going to do is called a split S, all right? Okay. And it's just the second half of a loop. So what we're going to do is we're going to flip upside down right here. Okay. And then we're just going to pull for that second half of the loop, okay? Do I do my breathing? Yep, it'll be about three to four Gs. Okay. You ready to go? Yep. All right. Do the split S. Ready, hit it. Just for a little bit. Yeah, thank you. But the uh, 
know, the maneuvers we have left okay. are the high G maneuvers, okay? All right. So we've already hit four. And the next maneuver is going to take us to about six and a half, seven Gs, okay? Okay. And we call it the minimum radius turn. And all it is is it's a level 360 across the horizon. So we're just doing a big circle uh, over the water. Okay. So the maneuver starts at 350 knots. We're going to roll the aircraft 90 degrees angle bank to the left and then just full level across the horizon okay. for 360 degrees. But then first 90 degrees of turn, We'll touch about 7 Gs, then the uh, last 270 degrees, we're going to back it off to about 5 Gs, and we will uh, keep that G-strain going, though, okay? So okay, the whole time. Full G-strain the whole time. All right. As we get repositioned here, just back to the uh, east here. Yeah, you let me get my breath. Yeah, you let me know when you're ready to go. And we're rolling out. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. All right, this will be a full G strain, okay? okay? We're gonna roll to the left and pull for the minimum radius turn. Ready, hit it. Yeah! I did it! Yeah! <laughs> yeah, I did it! Really, really nice job. We hit 6.9 G's on that. Okay. Woo! Feeling pretty good still? Do I dare tell you? <laughs> <laughs> well, we got one more maneuver left. Okay. And I'll tell you what it is. All right. We don't have to do it. Okay. But it's a uh, it's a sneak to vertical rolls. Okay. So what we do is we get to about just below the speed of sound. So we're going to be pushing over 500 knots, and we're going to pull the nose straight up. And once we are pure vertical, we're going to do those aileron rolls, but in the vertical. All right. Okay. Now that pull to the vertical initially, because we're going so fast. We're going to touch 7 to 7.5 Gs, okay? All right. So it's going to be a full G straight, but it won't last as long as the uh, minimum radius turn we just did, okay? So it's shorter than that? A little bit, yep, but okay. we're still going to have to really get after it. Right. Even though we already hit 6.9, that extra little bump of the 7.5 Gs, right. we just got to keep that strain going, okay? All right. You let me know when you're ready for okay, it. Let me get my, my mouth a little dry, so let me... Okay, I'm ready. All right, we're going to accelerate here. Got the max AB selected. There's 350 knots. There's 450. And we're getting ready to go vertical. You ready? Yep. All right. Let's sneak the vertical rolls. Ready, hit it.
turn, like, uh, I don't know. How about a nice easy roll? Okay, yeah. Alright, here we go. Low G, low stress. Very nice. Just out here rolling. I love it. What was the air in the water? Alright, well I'm gonna climb us back up. Alright. Get us headed back towards Beer Bar. Lieutenant Commander Griffin, thank you so or Sangle, thank you so much. You're so welcome, but thank you for uh, you know coming out and flying with us today. This was amazing. Seeing just a little bit of what the team's gonna do this weekend. And uh, yeah. I don't know how you do it flying so close to each other. They uh, a lot of hours, a lot of practice, a lot of focus. No small feet for sure. What drew you to this profession? Uh, I always wanted to fly. And I was actually uh, lucky enough to go to an air show while I was on active duty flying Super Hornets. And I saw the super, uh, the Blue Angels perform back in 2019. And instantly I was like, yep, I want to do that. That is my next goal. And I didn't get selected in 2020, which was, you know, it was a bummer. But I applied again in 2021 and got selected, so. How hard is that process? Like how many pilots are there at the Blue Angels? Uh, so there's uh, seven pilots. Uh, but the only six fly during the demo. So during the demo, I'm actually narrating. Oh, wow. So I get the microphone, tell the folks what's going on. But the six pilots, uh, they're in their positions all year. I'm not a fill uh, for any of the pilots in case they get sick. Uh, it's one to make one. Uh, so that's, uh, that's how we operate. And tell me why the Blue Angels were formed. Give me some history. So, 1946. Oh, 1946, the Blue Angels were formed by Fleet Admiral Chester Nimitz as a reminder that even though we had deployed forces out of sight, uh, across the horizon, you know, on ships in foreign waters, he did not want them to be out of mind. So with that, he created the Blue Angels and basically made this team to go around the country and showcase the professionalism of the United States Navy. Uh, and the original aviators selected, they were flying F-6F F Hellcats. And they went through a couple iterations of propeller aircraft before they switched to jet aircraft in 1950. Wow. And then they actually switched uh, to Legacy Hornets in 1987, which is the team, uh, which was the longest uh, air standing aircraft with the Blue Angels. They flew that for over 30 years. And then two years ago, we switched to the Sloop Super Hornet. That's what this is, amazing. Yep. Beaver Control, Blue Angel 7. Blue Angel 7, Beaver Control, go ahead. Yeah, Beaver Control. Uh, we are ready to RTV at this time. Blue right. Angel 7, squawk 4604. Blue Angel 7, squawk 4604. I was so afraid I was going to pass out. You did great. <laughs> Blue Angel 7, you're cleared to Marine Miramar Airport via BG Direct. Maintain 16000. Understand BG Direct, not Sierra. So there you have it. I didn't pass out. Haven't had to use my barf bags yet. <laughs> what Blue amazing Blue Angel 7, thing. how do you read? Yeah, Blue Angel 7, understand you wanted BG direct, not Sierra BG. Blue Angel 7, A firm, cleared BG direct, maintain 16,000. BG direct, 16,000, thank you. All right, now for landing. Yeah. We can come in like an airliner, nice and smooth, no problem, or we can come land like a fighter pilot and do what we call the carrier break. Blue Angel 7, I get questions How do you do like, that? What time you guys start flying on the weekend? Oh, like when I see them land on the aircraft carrier? Yep, one second, I gotta talk to aircraft. Okay, okay. And for Blue Angel 7, uh, we're gonna be flying a bunch of practice stuff tomorrow, and then Friday we're practicing about 2.45, and then the same uh, Saturday, Sunday. 2.45, copy, thank you. So yeah, what we're going to do is the carrier break. So we're coming at 400 Blue knots. Seven contact, so call approach on 290.4. 290.4, Blue 7. And you said the R-90C to Palomar, then what was that after that? So it's like...
like you're landing on an aircraft carrier, you have that short runway. Okay, Papa Papa, Roger, that's not request. We're not going to uh, take an arrested landing, but what we're going to do okay, is... Okay, Papa Papa, do you have information? I'll leave my from Palmer. We're going to come in at 400 knots, pull about six days to bleed down to our landing airspeed. Okay, Papa Papa, stand by. You think I can do it? Oh, I know you can do it, yeah. This is this is nothing for you. We already pulled 7.2. <laughs> All right, let's do it. All right. I'm flying with the Blue Angels and an F-18 Super Hornet. I'm Marcelo B. We're on my flight after the break. Direct Atlas for Blue Angels. 558, comment on request, the Senate maintains 7,000. What an honor to sit in a spot where our men and women serve to defend our country. I'm Marcella Lee. More on my flight coming up. Burn, I know what's so, so Cal, how do you hear? Blank 7, this is going to maintain 5,000. 5,000, Blank 7, field tight. Blank 7, Roger. November 5291, Echo, if you hear this, acknowledge and ident. We're to contact four miles northeast of Gillespie Airport traffic, 11 o'clock, six miles southwestbound, 4,500 indicated. Angel 7, Atlas, header above 3,000, clear for the overhead approach, contact Fox Tower. Atlas, header above 3, clear for the overhead, Angel 7, switch to Tower 2. Number 9, 3 X-ray, what are your intentions? Continue eastbound along the 52, maintain 1,600. I get F-18 traffic inbound for the overhead brake. He will be breaking underneath you. Do not turn in toward the airfield. Do not turn in, turn in toward the airfield. Blue uh, Angel 7, traffic two miles south of the field eastbound along that freeway is a, a Cessna at 1,600. Yeah, Blue Angel 7, look at me. You can turn due northbound now to intercept the final. But F-18 is uh, one and a half mile final landing, two foot right. Rolling night 610, Foss Tower, hold short of two foot right at Sierra landing traffic. Do you need time on the runway for an engine run-up, or will you be ready to go when I get you out there? We'll have to continue holding short for now. Touchdown! And just like that, we're back on solid ground. Thank you so much. I can't thank you enough. Oh, glad you 
Glad you enjoyed it. Glad we had fun. Angel 7, turn right at Lima or beyond and contact ground. We'll go right on Lima. Unrestricted climb, we would have been able to basically go straight up okay. to 14,000 feet, but because it's uh, a little bit later in the morning, there's a lot more air traffic. I see. So it would have taken about five more minutes just to clear all them out. I see. But if you wouldn't mind, uh, staping up your seat for me. Okay. Houston okay. is fixed up for Fox Trap. Make a right okay, 360 please. has got uh, IFR traffic to I remember this time. All right, it's safe? Yep, safe. Awesome. Seven off at Lima. Request uh, taxi via Papa over to Hangar One. Hey, Blue Seven Fox, welcome back to Australia. You can taxi back to uh, base off the uh, Lima. Yeah. And Blue Seven, we're actually going to Hangar One. Uh, request to go via Papa if able. Blue Seven, apologies, sir. Uh, you can taxi via Papa. Taxi via Papa. Blue Seven, thank you. Papa, sir. seven G's and you were working at it the whole time, so I mean, you know, really nice job. Not everybody's able to do that. Thank you. I felt very well prepared. And then we had this time you at the group. They told me being five feet tall also helps. <laughs> Are ready for the air show. Yep. They are ready to rock and roll. This is almost more uh, jarring than the, <laughs> the flight. Oh, yeah, it's a little, a little bouncy. But our landing gear is built to land on aircraft carriers, oh. so it's uh, pretty robust. But that being said, it is uh, just a little bit bouncier than your average airliner.
here in a second. All right. So watch your hands. 